Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing great and thanks so much for coming. If you're new to my channel, thanks so much for coming and visiting. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. So in this video I'm gonna share with you a little nice story about my relationship with my Filipina girlfriend. It was just in the beginning. I was like sitting here yeah the other day and remembering things like and I was like why not to make a little video to share with you guys because it's so nice it's it was a wonderful time. Probably this video is going to be a little bit shorter. I'm, I'm not sure how it's going to turn up. So I don't do script. I don't do anything for this. So I'm, I'm going to try to do my best to talk like free. So in the end of this video, I'm going to I'm going to tell you something crazy and you will be very surprised about that. Trust me. Stick with me until the end and uh, you will see. I think so many people will find it so interesting and uh, so inspirational because it's a wonderful thing to do so in the beginning of my relationship with my girlfriend when i met her after a month it was like her birthday because you know long distance relationships are sometimes good sometimes not so happy and but hey if you if you have a good one it's wonderful and you know LDRs are phone or screens it's pretty much virtual but hey you can make it more crazy than that and uh, exciting and you can do different things not only talking on the phone or computer or whatever like video calls or I was thinking like why not to surprise her? Because it's gonna be another month will be her birthday. And well, I was thinking and thinking and, and I decided to, to message someone. I have somebody in the Philippines in Mindanao. Hmm. I was like, okay, let's try something very, very cool. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm in UK and she's in the Philippines. So, how can I do this? Well, I have somebody, but it's far away. My girlfriend is in Luzon, yeah, just near Manila. That person is in Mindanao. Oh, like, okay, message that person. Hey, can you help me, please? She said, hey, I'm gonna do my best. I'm gonna try. My friend found someone, and I was like, whoa, that's crazy. Let's do it just near my girlfriend like not in the same town but in the next town or two towns I'm not sure it was perfect and they talk on the phone and I was just okay let's order things because we found a person a good person like a honest person probably but hey let's let's do let's risk let's it's gonna be so cool okay we were on the phone and uh, they said okay what would you like and I said, okay, like a big, big bucket of flowers, roses. So we done a big bucket of flowers, like a card, nice card. I wrote everything, uh, a big teddy bear, like a pink one, balloons, many balloons, like pink and black. Also a cake, some food, it's like a big plate of spaghetti and things and that and that bits and pieces so that that person who made this they were good they were good in cooking they were good in preparing everything they were good in delivering they they were not a company 
for that. They were just ordinary people, but hey, if you do that, trust me, it's worth it. And, and you're gonna make your girlfriend crazy happy. You will see, guys. So I was just making it up, what to be and how to be and when to be delivered. I even said, hey, tell those guys to deliver like six o'clock in the morning. Because, you know, my, my girlfriend lives with her parents and siblings and I wanted to be like everybody home. Because, yeah, it's nice, you know, new boyfriend for a month and I already knew her parents, her siblings. But I didn't really know her friends because when you do those things, you need to find an honest person, an honest friend, a close friend. Not really, I will not really recommend a member of your girlfriend's family because it's maybe she will notice things but when he's a like a close friend if you trust that person that's gonna be nice but in my case I didn't know anyone we were just fresh in the first month of the relationship but hey my friend is from <laughs> south part of the country my girlfriend is from the north part of the country I couldn't believe like we found someone yeah and we found someone very, very close. They were like tricycle with uh, flowers, with everything, delivering like, I'll show you. The price, it was 15,000 pesos with everything, like everything. You will see, because I'm going to show you all the preparation, all the stuff. If you do that in your country, in the West, whatever you are in America or UK here or anywhere in Europe or Australia, that's gonna be like probably a thousand pound or dollars or something like that. In the Philippines, it was like three hundred dollars, two hundred something pound. So it's worth it. After all the preparations, the day came. Those guys, like a lady and a guy in the tricycle, yeah, with everything with the, the teddy bear and the flowers and the cakes and the foods and everything like full. They strapped the teddy bear on the top of the tricycle. <laughs> so six o'clock in the morning, the guys turned up and they knocked the door. So everybody was like, you know, they were awake probably. My girlfriend, she was still sleeping. <laughs> And when she woke up, she came out. Somebody's, you know, asking for her outside. And she was like six o'clock in the morning. Somebody who was that? She was kind of scared, like, and she didn't even wash her face or something. She came out for that, and she was so. And you will see, guys. She's shy and she's like crazy, crazy. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy this video. And I hope you find it interesting and uh, useful, probably. If you do this, you're gonna have a great memory. And you're gonna make your girlfriend... I cannot even describe. together 
Cause we got excited doing that and I said to my friend yeah hey tell them to not forget to film to record the thing yeah. it's not nothing professional or something but hey <laughs> that's a nice memory let me know in the comments below if you done this before or if you if you want to do or whatever just let me know I'm gonna try to to respond to everybody so I promised to you guys, I'm gonna tell you something very, very crazy and you're gonna be very surprised about what's gonna be. So, I told you I have a friend in Mindanao. So that friend is actually my ex-girlfriend, like, years ago. But, hey, we remain friends and when we broke up, we broke up like very, in a, in a nice way, yeah, in a kind way. And we remain friends and that's it. And I was like, she said, hey, I can help you with that. And I, I even said to her, I found another girlfriend. She was fine. She's a nice person. Yeah. So shout out to her. And thanks so much. She's a wonderful person. What can I say? <laughs> I have no words. How to, how much. So not everybody's in the war. <laughs> <laughs> when they broke up or something, yeah, you can do a different thing. Like, you can be in a peaceful way and a kind way, a nice way. So if you want to 
do something like this, like similar, to send flowers or make her birthday or surprise her, not only with your face on the screen, you can do it. So, step one, you need to have a girlfriend, yeah? <laughs> so, step two, she needs to be a good one, not the first one online, yeah? Because you need to be like uh, one of the luckiest in the world to have the first. You need to make sure it's a, it's a good one. Not everybody is that good, unfortunately. Step three, you need to feel something special for that person, yeah? So if you feel something special for that person, you do it with love and so much excitement. Step four, you need to make sure she is for you. Make sure, guys. Step five, find someone around her, like a, a close friend of her, or even a member of the family. It's, it's all right, but if he's in the family, probably she will notice something, because you need the preparation. Like before that, like at least a week or two. This takes time. If you don't find from her friends or some someone around her maybe you have someone in the philippines like a trustworthy person not gonna scam you with money because you know they will promise they will make it they will prepare it they will, and they're gonna charge you and that's it so be careful or probably you can find a company who's doing that that's gonna be more expensive but it's gonna be like no joke it's gonna be professional so thanks so much for, for watching, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below and I'm gonna see you in the next one. Thanks so much. Ciao, ciao.